Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to put a video on video in Sony Vegas Pro. I'm using the trial version, as you can see right over here. Um, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the link in the description, and you're going to just want to download uh, Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, there is a registration, but it's pretty simple. All it really asks for is an email and your password. So I'm just going to fast forward right over here. Um, as you can see, I've just uh, filled out this uh, registration form. Uh, you don't have to give out real information, of course. As you can see, I wrote my name was Derp, and these are all fake addresses and everything. Um, uh, but yeah, it's pretty simple. You don't have to supply most of the information. Uh, but once you've registered, uh, go back onto the downloads, click on Vegas Pro and then go and download the trial version. Uh, it's pretty simple. You should just, you all you have to do is run it. You don't really have to save it. And uh, yeah, I'll just skip ahead again. All right, so um, basically what I did over here was I just uh, agreed to the terms of agreements and selected my language, which of course was English. Um, it's pretty simple, so I just decided to fast forward it. Now for this part of the tutorial, you're just going to click uh, the top box when it appears because you're running the trial um, and just click next. I think you have to register again so just click the top arrow, it doesn't matter. And it shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, just fill out the same information as you did before. I actually filled out different information and it worked anyway. So uh, you can do whatever you want here. Uh, but really all you have to do is fill out the uh, bolded information which is first, last name, country, uh, an email address, uh, just fill out the same email address as you did before, it's what I did. Um, but I really don't think you have to fill out the zip code if you don't live in the United States. I'm not entirely sure though. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty much after you click next, it's just going to load up Sony Vegas Pro. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get into the main part of the tutorial. Alright, so now just go into file, uh, click import media and then import the two different types of media you have which is most likely of two videos or a video and a photo which you can actually use which is going to be your uh, outro template if you're one of my subscribers and you have a question about this which is why I'm pretty much making this video. Uh, now all you have to do is drag uh, both of your uh, media files down to the bottom and you're going to want to put your video clip above your um, outro or the one the video that you're putting over the other video is going to go on top and the other one is going to go on bottom. And uh, when that's done, just click the little crop button on your top video. And what this is going to do is you're going to try and adjust your, the size of the top video so it fits where you want it on the background or bottom one. Now there's a selection of tools that you could use. Uh, this is the arrow tool that I'm using and there's, I believe there's uh, the magnifying tool that also works. Uh, basically, you just have to troubleshoot with the different points. I really suggest using the magnifying tool first and right-clicking the screen as I'm going to do now. That's how you uh, demagnify it or go out uh, because it allows you to increase the uh, uh, background size or decrease the size of your front videos and it allows you to fit it. Um, all I could say is you have to troubleshoot. I mean, it's kind of like an inverted feel if that's how you describe it. Uh, as you can see, I tried moving the uh, uh, middle and it didn't work at all. So you just have to kind of uh, move the, I don't really want to say the background, but you want to move the points where your video is at, if that's a, an appropriate way to describe this. Uh, really all I can say is troubleshooting because it's basically uh, how well you are at fitting uh, a video on, uh, on another video. I mean, that's the only way I can describe this. And uh, it's quite annoying, so I'm just going to skip ahead when I actually uh, fit the video on. Alright, so when you're done with that, click File and then Render As. Uh, basically, this is just going to finalize the video. And uh, you're, just going to, you're just going to want to give your video name. I think I'm going to name mine Outro, I believe. I don't know, I'm taking some time right over here. Um, yeah, so then after that you're going to select the uh, video format that you want to export it as. Um, I suggest, so, uh, sorry, I suggest um, exporting it as a 
WMV, which is the Windows Movie Maker file, or an MP4. Um, if you're uh, using some sort of video editor like Sony Vegas Pro, because Sony Vegas Pro um, accepts MP4 video format. However, if you're going to uh, final, finally edit this in um, um, Windows Movie Maker, you're going to want to save it as a .wmv just to uh, be safe. And then uh, once you select the type of video format you want, you're going to click on 1080p or 720p to make it high quality. Um, probably Internet HD because I I don't really suggest saving it as anything else or the quality might come out different. And then after that, just click on the Browse button and export it to some place that you could find it easily. I suggest exporting it to the um, a desktop. And uh, then it's going to render. It's going to take a long time, even if you have a very uh, small video file as I did. Um, I believe that the top video repeats because it's very short. So if you don't want that to happen, have a slightly longer video than four seconds, I guess or however long your outro is. Uh, so now I just closed that and I opened up my outro right over here. And uh, when you open it, it might be a bit large, you're just going to want to minimize it so you can see it fully. Um, I want to point out the fact that this outro is a bit uh, laggy. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's from my computer or from the quality. So uh, if it is from your computer and then you might want to uh, adjust the quality so it's about like 720p or maybe even less uh, so it doesn't lag that much. Um, but yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if it did, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.